Good morning at 6.55. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start on this Friday. Four more people have lost their lives to COVID-19 in Monroe County. We have hit another record-setting single-day increase in cases as well. 373 new cases reported. The death toll now stands at 313. The Rochester City School Board approving a plan for hybrid learning last night. Under phase one, special ed students in specialized programs will go back to school for hybrid learning beginning January 4th. In phase two, students in pre-K through sixth grades will go back for hybrid learning as early as February. Families will have the option to remain with remote learning if they want to. Well, the Greece School District identifying nine new cases of the virus among students and staff there. The testing part of the state's yellow zone mandate requiring schools to test 20% of in-person learners and employees. The cases found at several schools in the district, including uh, Arcadia Middle and Athena High School. There's also a case involving a transportation employee. Well, Monroe Community College will expand the hours of its drive-in testing site to help manage the increase in demand for COVID testing. It will now be open seven days a week with increased hours on the weekend as well. The testing site is by appointment only. Schedule one by contacting the State Department of Health at 1-888-364-3065. And we'll have that on our website. New COVID-19 regulations coming to City Hall in Rochester beginning Monday. City offices will continue to open at 9 a.m., but then close at 2 in the afternoon for a deep cleaning daily. Staffing in city facilities is being reduced to 25% to improve social distancing as well. Self-service drop boxes will continue to be available from 9 to 5 for people who need to use them. A Rochester man in the hospital after a hit and run last night in the city. Officers responding to North Clinton and Coleman Street just before 11. They found a 45-year-old man laying in the roadway there. They say the victim was hit while crossing North Clinton. The car left the scene before they arrived. Officials say the victim is in guarded condition. That investigation is ongoing. Meanwhile, a young woman in critical condition this morning after being shot overnight. Officers responded to Rochester General for a walk-in gunshot victim. That 21-year-old woman suffered from a gunshot wound to the upper body. Officials say the shooting happened on Claremont Street in Rochester, and they are investigating. Happening today, the Spencerport lift bridge will open up for traffic. First time in a while. New sidewalks, street lights, and trees have been added to the area. Now, the bridge is not entirely done with renovations, but it is safe for traffic. The village will have a grand opening in the spring when the bridge work is completely finished. So we'll look forward to the spring. A feel of spring, Josh on this November Friday. Yeah, you could definitely say that with temperatures easily into the low 60s, and I wouldn't be shocked to even see a few mid 60s sprinkled in for good measure, especially south and east of Rochester into the Finger Lakes with a mixture of clouds and sunshine, a little bit cooler, closer to Lake Erie south and west. But all in all, that's a real treat. Uh, a nice November day. Savor it and relish it because we have some chilly changes coming up heading into the weekend. Uh, the sky beautiful in the Finger Lakes and in Rochester as well. Just a few mid and high level clouds. You can see there is a band of cloud off to the north and west of Lake Ontario. That's the cold front that will arrive later tonight. It will shift the wind into the north and drop the temperature by Saturday morning. And Saturday is going to be kind of a gray day, but not today. Today's just great with intervals of clouds and sun and again that busy breeze and a high into the low and mid 60s mark. We will uh, we will savor it Josh. Thank you. That's it for us for now here on News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe and have a great Friday.